Here we go again with another round of annoying rampages. I am going to stop mentioning that you should be grabbing the ammo every time you get into the game and before you save, since it should be automatic by now. As is my style, I am going to start with what I feel is the hardest rampage, and this one in particular is a real doozy. Since we have seven to get through, and they are spread out quite a bit around the map, I am going to speed up this video a little bit, just to get through it a bit faster for you. Our first rampage is to kill 20 Colombians with a flamethrower, but they are armed with Uzis and can kill you very, very quickly. Just try to keep your range, kick quickly and sweep across them, and you should be able to make it through. As soon as it is over, jump in the car and head back to your safe house to get armor and health if you need it. I also wouldn't blame you if you saved at this point as well. As I am currently in pretty good health, I'm going to go ahead and just start the second rampage. To get to it, you're going to have to jump off this bridge and onto the garage just below. Here, you need to use a shotgun once again. I recommend keeping the wall between you and the people you're trying to kill to prevent getting swarmed since there are quite a lot of them. This can be difficult since the shotgun has limited range and sometimes you need to venture out to actually hit somebody. As you can see, I almost died this time because I took a couple of big hits. So I need to go heal up, and I'll do this at the safe house since I didn't pick them up before. And as always, grab that extra ammo. This next rampage is up on that hill behind the billboard and gives you an M16. You have to do headshots once again. For this you are going to be in the crowd and they do attack you quite often and the M16 shakes quite a bit making it difficult to get stable shots. <laughs> Take it easy, line up your shots, and fire only one shot at a time, and you should be able to get through this. I did take a couple hits, so I'm going to grab the health here, before I head back up to the safe house, where I'm going to grab ammo and the armor before moving on to the next one. Grabbing the cartel cruiser at this point is also a good idea, as it's going to be helpful in the next round of The cruiser is quite a rugged car, and since it's in good condition, I'm going to go to the Francis International Airport and do the rampage there.
to prepare for the next rampage, I'm going to leave my car here in front of the billboards at the bottom of this hill. Next, I'm going to run up behind those billboards where the rampage is located, trigger it, jump down, and get back in the car. To complete this rampage, you need to run over 20 people, and since they shoot at you pretty quickly, using a strong car is vital. Pick up plenty of speed and keep going along the sidewalks, hitting as many people as you can. Even then, these cars break down very quickly, so be ready to jump out, grab another car, and continue the rampage. Three more rampages to go, and the next I do is a bit challenging as well, as it is another vehicle one. So I use the cars to cause another traffic jam right in front of the rampage. To complete this rampage, you need to get in a car and do drive-by shootings to destroy seven vehicles. By clogging up the intersection like this, cars can't escape very quickly, so you have plenty of chances to destroy them, and also perhaps cause chain reactions destroying multiple vehicles in one go. Now for another vehicle challenge. So once again, I'm going to get cars and I'm going to cause a traffic jam in this small intersection. I do like using these stretch limos as they're large enough to cause a bigger blockage across the road. Once I get to the rampage, I wait for a little bit to see how many cars I can get trapped in that little traffic jam. I'm going to get you. I usually don't get too many here, but as soon as I do have some, I'll get that rampage and start shooting. Once those are cleared out, I run along the edge of the building to the next corner, where there's a much busier intersection and a lot more vehicles to shoot at. Just one more rampage to go and we will have completed all the rampages in GTA 3. This rampage is another sniper rifle challenge where you have to do headshots. However, unlike this challenge on Staten Island, you really don't want to pull off the wall here, as the Colombians hate you and will kill you very quickly. Just take your time and target the Colombians across the street or down the road, and you should be able to complete this pretty quickly.
With that final shot, we have completed the final rampage and earned another million dollars. Before we head back to the safe house, I am going to grab a police car to save in the garage to use later on for the vigilante missions. left to do is get this in the garage, grab our ammo, armor, health, and then save the game. See you in the next video.